so good to be here every year. And uh, even if it's a Friday or a Saturday, I mean, I personally love to come to Six Lens. It was last year as well and the year before that as well. And all thanks to, I really want to congratulate uh, Ojasvi Sharma, my friend, and uh, Mr. Vicky Singh, Madam Gurpreet Kaur. This is such a great gathering. I was talking to uh, Mr. Deepak uh, Sharma Chanathal outside and I was saying there are very few people who are representing us intellectuals in the four pillars of a democracy. Because he's one journalist that I follow personally and I never you know, like to miss his videos and what work he's been doing all around. So congratulations to such a gathering where we all intellectuals can get together and think about and ponder upon a lot of things other than our own businesses, our own uh, complexities in life that we are facing every day. So congratulations to Siklans and thanks for having me here today. Uh, Mr. Uh, Vicky Singh, uh, Sashikal. First of all, uh, I would like to ask you, see, a lot of people know here what Siklans is, but a lot of people are new. So what is the mission of Siklans that uh, you both are taking forward? Siklans uh, started uh, almost 25 years back and the whole mission was how do we uh, take our stories in mainstream, uh, get proper representation. I live in California, so I'm talking from that perspective. And uh, Sikhs were not represented properly, nobody knows them. And how do I take uh, what Sikh messages, our diaspora stories, so we started the film festival, so leading with art, heritage, and culture. And down the line, 9-11 happened, so we uh, started a scholarship program. We saw that Sikhs had no meaningful representation in films, media, broadcast, journalism. So these were the key areas which we were went on addressing them. And uh, through the scholarship program, which has Project S, Destination S program, uh, Siglens Community Voices program, and uh, Siglens Digital Voice program, and publishing. Through all those things, we started bringing the diaspora stories and this great content which is being built uh, under the Siglens Foundation's uh, directive is now showcased in um, around the world in terms of uh, creating these uh, signals film festivals. Wonderful. I always feel that uh, you know we've grown, grown up from uh, looking at us, all of us, all the Sikhs around the world, uh, doing community services, uh, performing, uh, you know, uh, having langars all around, wherever, whenever required. But we've grown from that to this today, which is a very structured approach for um, you know human service. So I always feel I'm a fan of uh, a structured approach of running a, a project somewhere because it's not only about ke aata dal donate kar de jao and you know jagah par do aata dal par yahan pe everywhere. It's about enabling people uh, to create an impact further. So I think Siklens is uh, doing something of that sort only that you are enabling people, enabling students, enabling uh, you know our own uh, people to understand various aspects of how people are uh, uh, progressing in life, what talents are available. So what is exactly Project S that you just mentioned about? Project S is a scholarship program in uh, leading film schools. So the problem is our community children are not getting into the film schools. So the people who are there, the students who are there, through our scholarship program, they learn uh, about Sikh culture, heritage and religion uh, by making Sikh-centric documentaries. So it's a very structured approach. So once those children, they graduate, they are called the young filmmakers, uh, they are around the world, and uh, some are international students coming into these big universities. So we fund these subject matters. The Sikh diaspora is around the world. We have great stories. So that program, uh, any films produced outside the universities are through our Destination S program. So we provide them the funding. And the journey of these young filmmakers is very similar to medical students. After graduation, they have to slog 10, 12, 15 years to build uh, their portfolios. 
so we fit in there. They are doing uh, uh, film work for us, learning, and these are uh, called the young filmmakers who are creating young, uh, good content for us. Wonderful. I think I haven't found anything of this sort uh, in India as well, where uh, students are being pushed to uh, getting into filmmaking and they're getting that necessary push from behind. And then there Indian students was there here or is it just uh, restricted to students or uh, Sikh students outside India? Uh, we, uh, like, you will be seeing a uh, lot of films uh, uh, tomorrow at the film festival, uh, which are done by the grants given by Sicklands Foundation in India. And like our Community Voices program, for example, it's a new initiative which started three, four years back. It's a very structured approach in how do you amplify these NGOs. Sikh Panthik organizations which are doing great work, how do you take their messaging outside and create these digital resources? So all that work is being done by the filmmakers from India. So they are getting grants, they are get, doing the work, so you will get to see a lot of those films, you know. Wonderful, wonderful. Now what is your uh, vision about Cichlins? Uh What do you think is your uh, take on how, uh, how this mission is progressing and how do you want to take it further? Yeah, um, I have to say that I get the, I get to be the co-founder, but the vision and the path is all the keys. I just support him where I can. But to talk about the impact of Cichlans and what he's doing is that first of all, um, you have to realize that we live in the U.S and um, Sikhs are, even though Sikhs have been in North America over 120 years, people still really don't know who they are. And they have a mistaken identity, especially after what happened after 9-11. So it's all the more important for us to educate people about who we are. In the U.S., you cannot really speak about religion in schools, in public, and so the way you tell people about yourself is through your culture, through your heritage, and through your stories. And that is where Cichlids comes in. And on a personal level, when we interact with people, is when they get to know you. Um, educating people about who the Sikhs are, and what they represent, the values and principles that they represent, and we see a difference now. I personally am involved in um, going on diversity panels to law enforcement and telling people about who the Sikhs are and how to deal with them. And the impact of Sikh Lens in the long term will be that young students have learned about who the Sikhs are. And when they are in positions to make decisions, that information and knowledge will make a difference at that point. The one program that Vicky didn't speak about is the Digital Voices program for young children, school going children, where they learn about filmmaking. And those will be the next generation of filmmakers and um, the new era of AI and other things. And so they have done a similar program in India. The bigger picture that I see from all this interaction and all this filmmaking where you are telling other people about what some people have done, like the films about the Community Voices programs, the work that Rishpal Singh Densa and Bahadur Singh have done, is that there are other people who perhaps would like to do something, but they don't quite know what they can do and should do. And this is one way to bring people together, for them to learn and be inspired and motivated by other people, and maybe share that knowledge why reinvent the wheel, right? If somebody is doing something in some sphere, the other people can benefit from that knowledge. And these are the kind of people who would not mind sharing. When we talk about seva, seva is not just dhan, it's tan man dhan. Physically, you do seva, you share what you have in your earnings, it is also mentorship. It is also sharing that knowledge that you have being willing to raise other people up with yourself. And I see the impact of that, and that is something that we can share. The other thing you see today is all these people coming together. Um, that would not happen without something like a program like Sitlands. 
So it gives a platform, especially in the diaspora, where people feel very isolated. A lot of Sikhs might live in places where there aren't very many other Sikhs. And when you have a concert where you bring Sikh musicians together, it gives them a space, a platform to collaborate as well, show, showcase their talents and collaborate. And that is what this is doing too. When you talk about Sanjay Punjab, that is what we've done today. And we did a similar thing in Pakistan. And the other thing I really wanted to say today is so watching and listening to everybody, I want to ditto everything everybody said. Because a lot of things have been very, very impactful and people are so talented and knowledgeable and it's been amazing and so humble with what they do. Everybody in their own sphere is making a difference. And like what um, CJ Singh said is that we are each ambassadors of our faith. If each one of us goes out in the world and projects the true images and principles of Sikhi, people would have a different impression of sex. We each represent our community and we should always remember that. And then when we had the Sanja Punjab um, session, I wanted to button and say something. Uh, we were in Pakistan recently and I wanted to ditto about what they said about the warmth and affection and that feeling of longing for your home, uh, the villages, and the stories you've heard from your elders. Um, we, the last night in Lahore, we went to a play by a theater group called Ajoka, and the name of the play was Ani Maida Sufana. And Odevich, ek lady, as paase hai ki, ek banda, os paase hai ki, they both long for their homes and their families and their friends who they miss. And the one line that they said was, Sufane which border ni honda, to si border par kar lendeo. And that was the punchline of the play, is that Sufane which border ni honda. Uh, you started this mission of Sikhland uh, for educating, uh, you know, purpose. But now it's become more than that. The impact has gone to enabling students and people as well because you are supporting them in so many ways. Yes. I wanted to about ask about the equipment grants program you were mentioning about. So what is that exactly? So Sigland's equipment grant, we have like close to half a million dollars uh, worth of equipment. <coughs> and we find uh, when we are giving grants, a lot of times students or young filmmakers are struggling because they have to rent. And the cost of uh, equipment is like number two or third line item in the uh, list of expenses. So we provide them the grant for the filming, the drones, the lenses. And uh, so we are registered with the top uh, tier uh, manufacturers because the nature of work is into the academic forum. So we get like significant uh, academic educational uh, discounts, you know, so that's what it is. Amazing, wonderful. You know, how do you want to take this mission forward and specifically talking about the authors and publishers you are supporting? Because I've heard Sicklens is also into book publishing. So what is that aspect? Yeah, so, you know, everyone uh, here, uh, they are getting these oversized art calendars. So this is our 23rd year in doing. So we knew the domain and you know we have published a very uh, large size uh, coffee table book jewels from uh, Sikh wisdom and uh, it's again it the field uh, this whole area falls in the creative field and we created this platform for our young authors because you know if you want to write something you don't find publishers sometimes you know so domain knowledge how to go about putting a book together so we provide those resources and from time to time we will give them seed money for grants and to do research and then trying to publish those books and through the network these guys they these books they go out and find a home you know amazing i think there's so much to explore with cyclens that uh, students might not be knowing all about this. So uh, we do have other programs where we, uh, you know, uh, enlighten students on how they can choose alternate careers, how they can make use of, best use of their talents. If someone wants to write or someone wants to get into filmmaking, how they can get access to all these grants. So I'll definitely make sure uh, we take this forward and, uh, you know, tell, these, uh, tell this to all those students who we meet every day or who we meet through other programs in our, uh, in our daily lives. 
Thank you so much, sir. I wish Sicklands the best, and I wish we all will uh, still be attending the 50th Sicklands someday. And I hope you uh, the best health. So, in closing, I would like to say a few things. Like, uh, and this is what my long-term dream is: to look at Punjab, like you know, about our Punjabi culture, heritage, and music. Who's monetizing? <laughs> Bollywood is doing. Is that money coming to Punjab? No. Is the industry here? No. My long-term goal is to maybe start a, a high-quality international film school here, bring the industry here, so that the post-production is done, opportunities are there. You know, you cannot set up bigger industries like steel, cement, those are legacy uh, things. But this kind of stuff with AI, artificial intelligence, augmented reality, virtual reality, a lot of that stuff can happen here. So that's what my, and you know, all other industries are monetizing about, they're making money off of our Punjabi culture and heritage. So why not Punjab? You know? exactly. So we want to bring it back, you know, wonderful. I'm from a tech background and I, uh, it's music to my ears to listen to that someone is talking about uh, you know, bringing all this technology in Punjab and for Punjabi people. Thank you so much, sir. Let's have a great round of applause. Thank you. You're very lucky. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.